Welcome to DIY freeze dry. Today, I'm not in my freeze drying room. I think this is the first time I've started a video not down in my freeze drying dungeon. So that's exciting. If you're wondering why I'm not in my freeze drying room, today's video, I am making a recipe to go in my freeze dryer to make some on the go meals. Our family has a road trip coming up and I thought it would be fun to pack some freeze dried meals for us to be able to have along the road. I'm gonna show you the steps on how to actually make the chili and cook it and then how to get it on your freeze dryer trays. I am filming this video in two parts. The first part is going to be prepping the chili, cooking it, getting it in the freeze dryer trays, freezing it, showing you all the steps on how to do that. Part two of this video is going to be the freeze drying process and the packaging process and reconstituting process. So we're gonna have some fun this week. Can't wait to bring you guys along. Let's get cooking on this chili. If you saw my video on how to freeze dry brisket, you know we're a brisket loving family here in my house. So for today's chili, for the protein meat element, I am going to use our leftover brisket from our last smoking barbecue in the Traeger. So, this is gonna be delicious. But for this recipe, if you don't have leftover brisket, you can use pulled pork, you can use ground beef, you can use chicken, whatever your favorite type of meat is for chili can be substituted for brisket. I just wanna show you the other ingredients we're gonna use. Everything is gonna be from a can. This is a chop and dump recipe. We're gonna use tomato sauce, any type of beans that you like for chili. I've got Great Northern beans and pinto beans. That's just what I have on hand. Use whatever you like. We've also got, oh, I also have black beans. Might do a little mixture. I also really love lentils in chili. So I think I'm gonna add some of these too. We've got diced tomatoes, green chilies, and crushed tomatoes. I think that's it. Oh, I do have one more thing. I have freeze dried onion. So I am going to use this in the recipe also. I am super excited to make this recipe. What we're first gonna do is just chop up our brisket into small little tiny bites. And what I'm gonna do, because this is very fatty, I'm gonna cut out all of the fat that I can out of here. So I'm gonna get this done and toss it into the crock pot and then work on the rest of the cans. Okay, good news, I did not cut myself. Do not watch me to learn knife using skills because I am not good with a knife. <laughs> there were a couple close calls, but I got my brisket chopped up. I am going to dump it here in the crock pot. Um, don't judge my stained crock pot. I could definitely use a new one. This one has been going strong since my husband and I got married, which was about 10 years ago. Maybe it's time to upgrade, hopefully soon. So I have my freeze dried onions. Because I want my kids to eat this, I am going to pulverize them in a little food chopper. I have this little Ninja food chopper. So I'm just gonna dump probably about a quarter cup of the onions into. You put the little lid on. Okay, I now can get the onion flavor without having to have big old chunks of onion in it. Next, I'm gonna pop open these cans and then take them to the crock pot and just dump them in. Hopefully you're following along this okay. I'm not the greatest food vlogger, but it's a skill I am trying to work on. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I wanna do a nice full crock pot of chili. These are the crushed tomatoes that I have going in first. I am gonna do the entire can of that one. Next, I'm gonna add about half of the tomato sauce, maybe a quarter, I don't know, we'll see. 
I love green chilies in my chili recipes. This is something my kids usually can try to ignore. Oh, yeah, blooper reel. Nobody wants to um, eat the metal lid. My bad. I'm gonna add the both cans. <laughs> I did it again. What is wrong with me? Okay. Got that guy out. The beans that I have decided to use in the recipe are these three. The Great Northern, the black beans, and the lentils. What I want to do is put them in the strainer, rinse them, drain them before I put them in the crock pot. I'm just gonna give everything a big stir and see how it's looking on if I need more tomatoes, more liquid. I want a little more tomatoes in it, so I am adding my can of diced tomatoes. And then I think we'll be good to add our spices. These are the spices I'm gonna use. If I didn't put in the freeze dried onion, I would also use onion powder but I am just gonna use pepper, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, and salt. And again, I just kind of toss them in to what I think my liking is. So you guys can do the same, but probably it's gonna be about a teaspoon of each. Chili powder will probably be about a tablespoon. All right, I think we are looking good. I just gotta pop my lid on. I'm gonna cook this on high for about three hours and it should be good to go for our freeze drying trays. And I get to use my new lids for the trays to stick them in the freezer. I am gonna pre-freeze this before putting it into the freeze dryer. I will show you how that all works when we get there. In the meantime, we're gonna wait for this delicious chili to cook up and I will catch you guys in a few hours with the next steps. See you then. Okay, welcome back. The chili is ready to go onto our freeze dryer trays. Trays. Remember how I was bragging about not cutting myself? While I was doing the dishes, I cut my finger on the little blade of my food chopper. So yeah, what can you do? It was so hard not to eat this for dinner tonight. This looks and smells so amazing but i am going to be so grateful to have this on our road trip coming up this week here i have my freeze dryer trays i have my new snap-on tray lids that i'm going to use for freezing this to prepare this for the freeze dryer i do want to pre-freeze the chili i don't want to waste time in my freeze dryer having it do the full cycle of freezing this chili and then doing the freeze drying. If you pre-freeze your food, the time in the freeze dryer goes quicker. Wow. <laughs> okay. What I was gonna say before I dropped this is that if you are in the market for some accessories for your freeze dryer, like these tray lids, or if you're in the market for a freeze dryer, itself. I have a link in the video description where you can go to that takes you to the Harvest Right website and that's where you can shop for freeze dryers and accessories like this. It's got all the stuff there. When you go to the website you just click, oh, sorry for the shadows today, you just click shop and then look for on there whatever you're needing. It's super easy to use. Check that out if there's anything you're needing or interested in. My process for transferring the chili to my trays, I'm gonna use a measuring cup. I'm gonna do one cup increments and just evenly space them throughout the trays and then see how many cups each one ends up holding based on how much I have in here. Here are my four trays. I was able to fit about two and a half cups of chili 
per tree. These definitely could hold more, but unfortunately that's all I had in my crock pot. I wish I would have made more, but oh well, I'm still gonna do it this way. What I like is that I am just gonna consider one tray a two serving size. Cause when I package these up, I want them to be in easy to go little bags for us to eat while we are on the road. So I think having them in two serving pouches is gonna work out great. So now let's get the lids on these. I have a visitor. Who is this? Pigman. Is this Pigman from Minecraft? Yeah. Well, hello. Did you smell the chili? Yeah. Does it smell good? Yeah. Are you gonna eat some once yeah. it's freeze dried? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, do you wanna help me stack these up? Yeah. Okay, see if you can get that one on top of this one. Hot, hot. Oh yeah, it might be a little hot. Good job. And then let's stack this one. And then mommy will do this one. Bada bing, bada boom, give us a thumbs up. Now all I have left to prepare these is to stick them in my freezer, which I'm going to do now. That's it for part one of this video. If you have any questions about the recipe or cooking the chili, please let me know in the comments. Happy to answer there. Coming up this week on Thursday, I will have the final product, the whole process of it freeze drying, how long it's gonna take, and then how we're gonna package it up so that we can use it for travel food on the go. Super excited about this one. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribing. Hit that thumbs up, like button. That just helps me, that helps my video be shown to more people. And I am just trying to share freeze drying with as many people as I can because I just love it and have been having so much fun. Thank you all so much for following along. I will see you guys on part two. Bye.